Hi everyone, good morning and welcome back to my channel. My name is Trang. If you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm so glad you found this video. I am a budgeting mom of two and I'm currently on a journey to become debt free as well as trying to increase my savings for myself, my kids, and my lifestyle. So if you guys like what you see, make sure you guys subscribe for more videos. And for everyone else, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a budget with me and also a cash stuffing. I do have a lot of questions that people have been asking me about how I budget, how I get the numbers that I do, how often do I cash stuff, and like a bunch of other questions. So I am going to do an in-depth how I budget. I will be showing how I budget in this video, but it's going to be really quick because I don't want this video to get way too long. Today's video, I will be stuffing with my paycheck. So if you guys didn't know, I do pay myself on a monthly basis. My main income is from Etsy. And after I deduct my taxes and, and business expenses and all of that, this is the amount that I'm using to stuff for my envelopes. I know that I pay myself monthly, but I really enjoy doing bi-weekly cash stuffings. So I am still sticking to that. I do have videos every week and that's because I stagger my cash stuffings with my fiance's cash stuffing. So he got paid last week, this week I get paid, and then next week I'll do his paycheck, and then the week after that I'll do mine, and so on and so forth. So that's why I'm able to have so many cash stuffings on a weekly basis. Hopefully that makes sense. So I do have my pen and paper because once again, I haven't updated my um, paycheck breakdown sheet, but this is completely fine. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in really quickly. Today's number, we are starting off with 1790 minus. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my bills and subscription binder. So I'm gonna write this down. Hopefully it doesn't move too much. I'm gonna go through this, this really quickly. I have my rent, next week will be my fiance's rent, water and sewage, trash, Spectrum, Amazon Prime, Canva, P.O. Box, Costco membership, and Discord. Okay, so all of that is there. The amount that we are starting off with is $17.90. Rent is already 613 so water will be 50 because my monthly payment is 100 It's always about $100, 90 to 100 So I would rather just round up and do 50 and have more than, uh, more than enough. Water and sewage is good. Yeah, so trash is $100. I'm going to turn this off really quick. $100 divided by 3 because it's on a quarterly basis. So that's... 33.33 divided by 2 because I stuffed twice. So let's just do 17. Spectrum is 85 divided by 2. 42. Let's do 43. Amazon Prime. I think Amazon, I'm doing 17 this time. Canva is 7. Steel box is 112 divided by 3 because it's a quarterly payment. 37.33 divided by 2 because I cashed off twice. So let's do $19. Costco membership is getting $10. And Discord is 90, so half of that is 45. Okay, now I'll do my 17.90. Seventeen ninety minus six thirteen for rent, minus fifty for water, nineteen for peel box, seventeen for trash, seven Canva, forty three minus forty five minus seventeen minus ten. It's nine hundred and sixty nine dollars left to work with. That's a lot more than usual. So some of these amounts will be getting. Um, a larger amount than usual because I just have more than enough this time. So for birthdays, I know it usually gets 10, but let's just do 20. Bubs will get 30. Christmas, I feel like I'm almost at my goal, so I'll keep it at 40. Emergency at 40. And now let's do 20 for birthdays, 30 for Bubs, 40 for Christmas. 40 for emergency, K 
kids' birthdays. We have more than enough as well, so let's do 20, 25 for kids' savings, investments, let's do 100. Okay, so we have minus 20, minus 25, minus 100. Savings, we can do 25. Loans, we can do 40. Vacation, I'm not going anywhere, so let's just do 20. 25 minus 40 minus 20. Kids spending, let's do 25. Family fund, we can keep it at 30. Date night, can I get 20? Eye care, we'll get 20 because I need to repurchase my contacts. Household will get 20, and then beauty for 20. Okay, I think that's right. And then groceries will do $100. Yeah, 100. Spending, let's do eating out 40. Spending 30. I do have a wedding to attend. So I want to purchase a dress, but I think I have more than enough in my spending envelope to do so. Starbucks, we can have $4, and then I still have $300 left, but that's all my envelope. So I think I'm just going to put $300 into my um, high yield savings account, and then decide whether or not if I want to have that go towards my debt, my loans, or whatever emergency comes up. Okay, so now we are going to do denominations. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 25, 1, 6, 7, 8, 8. I'm going to go ahead and go to the bank, get the denominations, and then we will continue with the cash stuffing. I have my cash ready, so let's go ahead and get started with cash stuffing. I think this is the most that I've um, cash stuffed this year, so I'm super excited. So excited that most of these are going to bills. <laughs> okay, first up, I do have my new binder. These are my bills and subscription envelopes in here. I know that some people are, are new here and they might have a lot of questions like, okay, where are utilities? Where's your car insurance? Where's your phone bill? Stuff like that. I just wanted to clarify some things. In here, all these envelopes right here, these are under my account. So my fiance and I split certain bills. He takes care of like, um, utilities some random bills and also like our phone our phone bill and stuff like that all that is under his name his account his bank account and all these right here is under mine when i do a cash stuffing for him i don't put in anything besides rent because i want to make sure rent is good on his end because the rent is sent through my account i hope that makes sense with my fiance he doesn't want to cash stuff um, all of his bills he just has it ready to go in his bank account that's fine that's how he does his his own auto pay thing um, mine is on auto pay but it just gives me a better peace of mind like everything is ready to go at all times so in here like i said everything is under my bank account i cash stuff for all of this here for me my personal reasons just wanted to clarify that really quickly okay so for rent this is getting 613 dollars we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 110, 1, 2, 3. So $613 going into my rent. Okay, next up we have water and sewage. This is getting $50. Next up for trash, trash is getting $17. So 10, 15, 16, 17. Next up for spectrum, this will be getting $43. 20, 40, 1, 2, 3, 3. All right, Spectrum is good. Next up, Amazon Prime. This one will be getting $17. 10, 15, 16, 17. 
10, 15, 16, 17. And I did increase the amount because my subscription is in September, but I don't remember if it's end of September or the beginning of September. So I just want to make sure that I have it by September. So Amazon Prime now has 100, 150, 160, 170, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 181. All right, Amazon Prime is now all done. Next up for Canva, this will be getting $7. Okay, next up we have P.O. Box. This is getting $19. So we have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Your box is now all done. Next up for Costco membership. This will be getting $10. So it now has 20. All right, that's all done. Next up for my Discord, this is getting 45. So 40 and five. All right, so my bills and subscription envelope is now all done, nice and full. We love it. It sucks to know that like every time I get paid, I have to pay my bills. I'm just grateful that I'm able to pay my bills. Okay. And also I like have leftover money to stuff for the sinking funds, so I'm really grateful. All right, next up, I do have my high priority and low priority mixed in here. I get a lot of questions about my binder. This is a Louis Vuitton agenda in the size MM. This is also known as personal size and they fit my envelopes perfectly. So if you guys are interested, I'll have it linked down below. Everything will be linked. Okay, so we are gonna start off with birthdays. Birthdays will be getting $20. So birthdays now has 100, 150, 170, 180. And my birthday is officially booked. We have a reservation for this prime rib location and I'm super excited. And this should definitely cover it. So I don't have to worry about that. Next up for Bubs, he will be getting $30. Buzz now has 20, 40, 50, 60, 70. Also, if you guys didn't know, these are my envelopes. I make these and sell these on Etsy, but I currently don't have them available. I'm working on open orders right now, so I delisted these envelopes, but I should have them up and available next week. If you follow me on Instagram, I will update you there. And if you follow my shop, I will send updates as well. All right, Bubs is now all done. Next up for Christmas. Christmas is getting $40. Christmas in the bank already has 500, 600, 700. 720, 40, 60, 80, 800, 820, 840, 850. So 850 for Christmas already. We're almost at our goal, which is so crazy because my goal was a thousand dollars and we're already at 850 so i only have 150 dollars left to stuff and it's only august and my fiance is throwing in some money when he can and then i am throwing in most of the money when i can as well so if i am putting in another 40 at the end of the month and then he's putting in another 30 and then 80 dollars and then i need just one more month so I will have this fully funded by the end of September, which is insane. Um, I'm super proud of us and how we were able to reach our goal so fast. So I'm really happy about this. I might lower the amount after we surpass our goal or maybe not stuff this 
envelope anymore. I'm not too sure yet. I'm gonna figure it out with my fiance and then we'll decide. All right, Christmas is now all done. Next up for emergency fund, this will be getting $40. Emergency fund now has 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 210. Emergency fund is now all done. Next up for kids' birthdays. Okay, so they currently have 500, 600, 620, 640, 660, 670. $670 for kids' birthdays. We have until December 1st, so we have more than enough time. We might just do a small celebration with our family and maybe head to the lake house. I say it as if it's my lake house. <laughs> well, my sister-in-law's place, and she has a place overlooks a lake, so we might just go there and celebrate Zenith's birthday. It's just spending money for the food and like decor I can make at home. So I think the goal is, okay, if I currently have 670, if I have a goal of 1,000, 330, mm, I think that's doable. So let's say the goal is $1,000. Okay, next up for kids savings. This is this is a newer envelope, but I've been keeping savings in our high yield savings account for them. We are putting in $25 every single week, so by the end of the month, they should have $100, and then I'll throw that into their um, savings account. So kids savings now has 20, 40, 45, 50. All right, kids saving is now all done. Next up for investments, this is getting $100. All right, investments is done. Next up for savings. Savings will be getting $25 as well. So savings now has 20, 40, 45, 50. Savings is now all done. Next up for student loans, this will be getting $40. I got approved for my loan to be forgiven. This whole situation sucks, but I mean, I did borrow the, the amount to go to school, so um, it's perfectly normal that we have to pay it back, <laughs> pay back what we borrowed. Next up for vacation. This will be getting $20. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. So it currently has 500, 520, 540. But our only vacation that I can think of coming up would be going back to the Bay Area because we have a family member that's getting engaged, um, not getting engaged, that is engaged and is throwing an engagement party. And I wanna stay in the Bay Area for a couple of days because I miss my family and my friends and I wanna be able to hang out. Okay, next up for kids spending. Kids spending will be getting $25. I still haven't purchased their clothes yet. I don't know why I'm still waiting around, maybe for like a better discount or a coupon. Kids spending now has 100, 200, 300, 400, 420, 440, 460, 470, 475. Maybe when it reaches 500, then I'll spend it. Okay, kids spending is now all done. Next up for family fun. Family fun will be getting $30. I'm excited for Disneyland in October. Halloween vibes, spooky vibes, and all of that. My favorite. Okay, family fun now has 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 190, 195. I hate the 95s. I love it when it's a full number. Okay, family fun is now all done. Next up for our date night. It currently has $10. I believe I'm putting in 20. Yes, so now it has 30. Date night now has $30. Next up for eye care. I really messed up with my eye situation. Um, I wear contacts 
and I have astigmatism in one eye. Both eyes have different prescription degrees. I put my right eye lens into my left eye and my left eye is like way way worse so i could not see as clearly and i thought i was going crazy i called my eye doctor but like luckily she didn't answer because i was trying to set an appointment to go in asap to be seen because i thought something was wrong with me and i was going blind but obviously that wasn't the issue but i wasted i think two contact lens and i wasted it because once it's open like i don't have space for all of these so they like dried out so i was super annoyed at myself but yeah, that that's what happened with my eye and my contact lens. So now I am down to three more. So in about a month, I need to repurchase my contacts. Now I have to buy them earlier than anticipated. Eye care now has 20, 25, 30, 35. All right, eye care is now all done. Next up for beauty. Beauty will be getting $20. So Beauty now has 50, 70, 90, 110, 115. Alright, Beauty is now all done. Next up for Household. Household is getting $20 as well. So Household now has 20, 40, 45, 46, 47. This binder right here is all done. It's getting pretty thick. And last but not least, I do have my wallet. This is my Moterm wallet. And, okay, everything's covered. I know I get a lot of questions about this wallet as well, but I have everything linked for you guys. And if you didn't watch my previous videos i go in like more details about this wallet uh, i'm not gonna do that in this video i'm just gonna go ahead and skip to the cash stuffing all right for groceries this is getting a hundred dollars okay next we have spending spending will be getting thirty dollars There's a dress that I need to get for the wedding that's coming up in September. It's my best friend's wedding, and I think this is more than enough. Spending has 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 210, 215. Yeah, this should be more than enough. I think the dress and everything, like shipping and all that, is under 100, so everything is covered. Spending is all done. We have gas next, but we recently just filled up like last night so I took everything out next up for Starbucks oops Starbucks will be getting four dollars all right so this is four Starbucks now has five six seven eight nine ten eleven I'm just really proud of myself because I used to go to Starbucks all the time um, just because I had money for it but now I just drink coffee at home and then this is a treat yourself um, once in a while maybe like once a week or once every two weeks nothing as crazy as before so I'm really proud of myself for sticking to this budget okay and then last but not least we do have eating out eating out will be getting $40 so eating out now has 20 40 and 60 So that's my entire wallet. Basically wraps up my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe for more videos. If you have any questions about how I budget, make sure you guys put that down below. In my next video or so, I will be answering a ton of questions that I had from my Instagram post. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you guys subscribe for more videos. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.